Chuck here with Jenkins Boat Works. Um, no, the deck's not going to be blue. I've been waiting uh, on getting my shipment in from Jamestown Distributors, and it came today. Um, I previously had gotten this Sitka Flex uh, 295 UV, and that's what the tech team at, uh, at Jamestown had recommended. Use a caulking gun on these. This is white, and the more I thought about it, the more I don't want white. So I'm going to go with the darker. So this is the same stuff. Sitka Flex 295 UV, supposed to be UV re resistant, but then this is black. So I got three tubes of this. I hope that's enough. And like I said, it just came today. I spent part of the weekend taping this off. Um, we got all these strips up here on the front and got it all sanded down good and then um, got the back deck all sand, sanded down good and went through almost two rolls of tape and uh, I think it's kind of tedious work really making sure that you got most of the most of it covered up but I couldn't really find one inch tape easily um, these strips are one inch. I think in a previous video I had said that they were three quarters inches wide and they, they're not. They're exactly one inch. So you go to Walmart or whatever and try to buy painter tape or masking tape and they sell it in .94 inches width or an inch and a half. Neither of which was going to work easily. Um, so anyway, I did get it taped off. Now part of what I've done here is I've taped up on the edges um, and so we'll have some that's got to fit in at the end of the strips. And there's a row that, that we'll have to do later. But um, after doing a little bit of testing, well, I can show you what I did. I was trying to decide whether I wanted the white caulking or the darker. So I kind of made myself a little mock-up so I just tacked some strips on a board and then uh, tried just uh, epoxy just with uh, white silica filler in it to give me kind of a white appearance and then mix sawdust in with it to get it darker. Now the, the caulk that I'm going to be using, the Sitka Flex, is black so uh, it's going to be a little different than that, but I just thought that that looked more natural and looked better than than the white. I suppose the white would have been okay, but um, I decided to wait a week and order again from Jamestown and get the darker um, caulking. Now, what I what I came to figure out is why I did this. I taped these. I same tape that I that I have that blue tape, and I had them down tight and cut off on the edges. Well, you can see right there, I couldn't get the tape up. There was nothing to grab onto. So part of the reason that I'm not going to do the edges initially is because um, I needed to leave some overhanging like that so that I can just pretty easily grab on here when I'm, when I'm done and, and lift those off of there. And based on everything that I'm reading and watching on other YouTube videos, it appears it's a good idea to put it down and then... Um, pull your tape even while it's still wet. So that's my plan. We're going to get started. I'm actually a little nervous about it, but what's the worst thing that could happen? You have to do it over. <laughs> All right, got the boat inside of the boat vacuumed out. It sure looks better. <laughs> okay, we'll see what the results look like here in a little bit. There goes nothing. The very first part of this I was using a very old caulking gun. It didn't work very well and uh, it was kind of a learning experience but I got the first tube 
in, and this was as much as I was able to do with one tube, and got the tape pulled. So you'll see uh, I get a new caulking gun and it goes smoother quickly. I've got caulk down in here. Um, using the Sikaflex, I'm getting better at it. Um, I got a new caulking gun, but let me pull this up first and then we can, I'll show you that. I'm going to pull two strips at once. I hope. Let's see. Yeah, that one's sticking. Okay, maybe we'll just pull one at once. There we go. It's not as bad as 5200, but it wants to go everywhere. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. We're going to come back and do these edges later. Yeah, I can't do any better than that. That's, that's awesome. Sure, just do it all at once. Keeping a towel laying around and uh, just wiping my spatula or you know tools off. And this is this caulking gun I just got. I got it at Lowe's today. Um, I spent sixteen dollars on it. This is a heavy duty one. I'll tell you what, it goes smooth. Another trick. Um, it's cold. Even though the garage is heated, it's only about sixty degrees in here. I took the caulking tubes inside and warmed them, um, and it made it it made it flow out a lot smoother. Uh, I couldn't be happier with this. This is from last night. There's places where it's kind of sticking up, but that should sand off pretty easy. So, yeah, it's coming along good. This side went considerably easier. Uh, got the new caulking gun. Um, I do so much and then realize I had some excess. Use the spatula or the little putty knife and smooth it out. And then as I smoothed it out, sometimes I'd gain a little too much on the knife and I started cramming it into some of the other spaces over there. Allowed me to uh, use most of the caulk effectively. Then I pulled the tape and it came off pretty good and I managed not to get it all over myself. Uh, the rubber gloves are a really good idea. Well, next we'll tape off the edges and do those and then let it all cure and then uh, finish the wood. We'll have to do some sanding, but coming along real good. Very happy with it. Still got to do the back deck. See you next time. I'd like to make a special thanks to Jamestown Distributors and their tech team. You call them up and they'll tell you what you need to do, recommended product, and gave me some uh, tips for my particular application. So thanks guys.